So you all probably guessed this right. Is um, yeah, woodwork and John don't mix. So today I'm cheating, and I've got Aidy to help me <laughs> do the scribing. <laughs> because you know I haven't got all the gear like that so yeah hopefully I can get the scribing in for the back of the toilet room and then if the day allows the other side of the toilet room so we can then at least fit the toilet and work out where the electrics or the main hub the power hub's gonna go no pressure that's a rough layout right now that's the scribing that's pretty epic I could never get it like that or it would take me like a week so that's why we're doing a bit of time saving really and um, so we've got a step out for that so there's going to be a bit of a step out for the sideboard there um, and then the inner wall there um, and then the gap in the middle should be quite good then because um, my kitchen is going to be around about there so it does mean that if that's my gap there that's quite a big gap to be able to um, get in and out of the bed um, and don't forget this side's going to be open so there's not going to be a wall there and there might be a little bit of a return on there to allow me to pass cables and everything up to the cupboards over the top but um, it's going to be open so it's going to feel more open not as enclosed like that so yeah I know you don't know it yet but there's going to be something upcoming anyway and um, which is why there's a bit of a rush and why I don't want to spend three or four weeks learning how to do this um, I need to have my van in a condition that um, it can be driven and used in um, well from from this point in time um, within um, a week basically um, so that's why I've come to the AD at All Things Timber obviously we used them in the past and um, with the motorhome he did the big cupboard that we changed over um, and he also did the um, fridge and the cupboard changed for the fridge and the oven so I know him um, and his work personally is also built um, our friends Dave and Joe built their um, van the Whippet bus and um, yeah pretty good guy all round makes anything possible so just right now sitting there working out what sort of spacing I need for my um, for my time on the throne <laughs> to um, yeah to enjoy my Instagram scrolling or whatever else people do on the toilet these days um, but yeah, the definite um, improvement of the space that I got from moving the bed back as well um, has meant that there's going to be a lot more space in the toilet, so I'm quite happy with that. And then the heater duct in is going to run all the way down there. Inside here, so there's going to be um, a heater duct in, in there, um, and then basically cool round and then go out from the bottom there into... Um, the garage under bed or whatever so basically everything the internals gets heating from the duct that's facing this way and um, the toilet gets heating from that duct and then under there gets heating from that duct as well so that should be fine with heating and ventilation and condensation all that everything in the van is going to be properly heated so there's the cubicle coming together obviously this is the toilet cubicle there's no shower so there's no reason for a shower tray or anything like that So uh, obviously the inner side is different to the outer. I'm just making a backboard now so that that fits down the back there. So that's my toilet room done. Got my ducting in there, obviously needs finishing off and the toilet attaching in there. And then on this side, just starting to mock up again for the kitchen. Uh, don't worry about this piece this is just to get the um, the contour for the roof um, but roughly it's going to come out to about there and this is all going to be curved out to just over the bed line and then that's going to um, be solid and then the worktop's going to come out from there so you'll be able to see through there roughly where that sort of black line is but a bit higher you'll be able to see through it'll be open and at the top is going to be cupboards this side um, and deeper cupboards on that side so a bit more shallow this side so I don't smack my head as I'm trying to cook um, and obviously you get lights underneath get some sockets down the side there at the same height as that and then as I did from a mock-up work out where the worktop's going to come so that I can get my fridge and freezer down the bottom there and 
some stuff underneath get the sink fitted in there right then no you're not imagining it you've not watched the wrong video yes i did pull it all apart and yes i have carpeted it <laughs> and basically i was just not happy with the configuration of weight um and the way the cables are the length of these cables uh, they were too either curled up for me or too taut um, so what i'm probably going to do now is going to stack two batteries there and one battery on top there um, and then the hub's going to be there the uh, distribution's going to be there boom happy days so now i just need to make that happen and um, so yeah i'll move the batteries out of the way I'll rebuild the box which now includes plenty of holes and everything to uh, to allow for things to go through, pass through, um, easily mount and all that kind of stuff. And then once um, I've built that and we've put them in, um, then I'm going to mount the hub to the side of that. Obviously, it's going to be there. Um, and the rest of it, I'm just going to use for shelving or something above. Um, maybe put spares and things like that up there. Um, and obviously, the distribution is going to stay where it was. So that'll allow for me to put um, many, many cables and everything else inside. You can see how many cables I've got already. And honestly, I've hardly got anything so far. I've got USB sockets, um, fridge, outside lights, inside lights, and that's about it. Diesel heater. So yeah, you soon mount up with all these cables. Oh, the irony of a power outage on the industrial estate as you're building your van. <laughs> but fortunately, I'm outside. I'm just putting my electrics together so i've got all the power i need so come on folks it's that better it's that more pleasing what do you think everything seems to fit in well it looks nice just putting all the electrics back in now mandy's inside doing the same to her van and we're both working away on our own power i just think that's fantastic don't know when the power is going to come back onto the unit but we'll be fine. So I'm just getting ready to wire my router up and I've been trying out this little thing. It's a USB adapter from USB, which is five volts to 12 volts. And it is enough to power the router, but as soon as you want to switch to 5G, it's not enough. So 4G, 3G, it's fine. 5G, not enough power. It is enough power, however, for the Echo Show. I think it's version five um just about so i'm going to rewire it that way um but the thing with this is it adds actually 12 volts even though it's supplied as a home router to run on a, a mains power supply um, but it is actually 12 volts so what i've got is this and it is anywhere from 9 volts to 36 volts and it outputs exactly 12 volts at 4 amps so i'm just going to wire that up so i can run my Wi-Fi router and anything else that's that tricky with voltage uh, then I can tap into this as well because like say four amps is load the power on that um, and then I'll reconnect this little lead with the USB end and wire up my little echo show and um, putting Wi-Fi in my van so I'm going to wire the cameras and everything up um, and while I've just been redoing all the power and batteries and everything I thought I'd uh, get that one sorted now so there we go there's the cable all wired into a little temporary USB socket. That's the adapter. I'll link it down below if you want it. But kudos and thank you to Bruce, Bruce Lauderdale, for this little Brucey bonus. Because, um, uh, yeah, he spotted it and tried it out. And um, there we go. Works a treat. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why haven't aliens visited our solar system yet? They check the reviews and we only have one star. Oh, no. <sighs> so I've got a few things off my checklist today. Got Mandy's diesel heater installed. A um, few little things in my van, obviously sorting that electrics out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to explain why I decided one day that I'd kind of just, yeah, whatever. Um, and this morning I woke up and I'm like, no, nah. no, that won't do, John. It must be better. So yeah, and, um, and now it is better.
so that'll be all right. So yeah, got my electrics pretty much done. Um, I just need to lock the batteries down in place. Um, so I'll get that and sorted out. Just in time for it to start raining, so that was pretty cool. Um, the seals on the back doors, no one likes a leaky back door. Uh, it's letting in a little bit of light every day, um, albeit it's not rained in the van and can't really feel a breeze, but yeah, I've just adjusted the doors and um, you can't see any light inside, so I'm assuming that the uh, the seals are now much better.